Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Subnautica, and yes, the title says Season 2 because, well... So the patch came out that it fixed the resource issue. I have made a new world on my own and confirmed that yes, resources are spawning where they're supposed to, when they're supposed to, and how they're supposed to. But the only way to fix this is to start a new world. So we have this one here. We're going to hold on to this, kind of keep it as like a challenge save sort of thing if we want to go back to it for a live stream or anything else. But we're going to restart the Let's Play. We're going to do a kind of a... We're going to call it Season 2, but this we're going to do again on survival mode, and this is just so that we can have a world working where the resources are working correctly. And now, as much as it sucks that we have to play this again, or well, redo, like all the like the four hours of progress that we've already made, that's not a big deal. My ideal scenario would have been to actually live stream this for a few hours and just like, just binge it and get kind of close to where we left off. But, um, it's finals week right now. And uh, the day that this is going to be uploaded, it's going to be, let's see, I have a final and then a review for another one, and then a final, and then I have a final the day after that, and another one the day after that. So, uh, the patch, like, just came out, like, less than an hour ago as I record this, so we couldn't have live-streamed it the day I'm recording this right now, which is Tuesday. So, yeah, I, I would have liked to live-stream it and binge it and get all caught up, but I have I have college finals. Anyways, I'm going to cut the rest of this loading out. We've seen this. Um, you know, those other videos, I'm not going to remove the videos or anything. We'll just, I'll retitle them as Season 1, and this will be Season 2. And uh, now we get to play the game normally, with like abundant resources and stuff, and it's going to be so much better. So, I'll cut this out, I'll pick it out, uh, pick it back up when the cutscene starts. Alright, here we go. Press any button. And oh god, we're getting in the life pod. Something sounds bad. It sounds bad outside. Alright, we're away. There's our ship. Oh, well. There was the ship. I'm glad we're in here and not out there. Uh oh, fire extinguisher. Ah, who bolted that panel on? That was awful. No, 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 no. Ah. Quite frankly, I don't care that much about having to start this over because I love this game and I could play it all day long. But it sucks for the, you know, for the Let's Play um, purposes. And the only reason, like, I don't know, the only reason I'm not going to catch back up to where we were off camera is just because with how non-linear this game is, there's no way I could possibly do that without losing story bits or anything, so... And that was Nova Topaz that brought up that point. It's a very good point. There's no way in the world I could get caught back up to where we were without getting some dialogue that we didn't already see in the other season one, quote unquote. This is considered an optimal outcome. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Now, with all of that said, I am going to leave dialogue in, try not to talk over it, etc. Because I'm going to run this, as, you know, assuming that people have not seen the other one, and I don't want to make people have to watch the other videos just to know what's happening. Like, the Aurora suffered orbital hull failure. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. I don't want to. I don't want to force people to watch two let's plays to get the same dialogue. I think that's really stupid. So yeah, I'm gonna be quiet over the dialogue. I'm basically just gonna run this like we did last time. Of all powered equipment, your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely but plausible. Now the first thing I want to find, because we're gonna need it like immediately, is a crash fish. Whoopsies, a crash fish. Um, so that we can. Get some crash fish powder, because we're going to want... Or uh, sulfur. It used to be called crash fish powder. Uh, some sulfur, so that we can... We can build a repair tool. And we're going to want the repair tool ASAP. But first, let's make some titanium real quick. And with this titanium, we can make an oxygen tank. Yes, indeed. There we go. And, oh yeah, we haven't gone out of the bottom yet. And there we go. All right. 
Uh, let's see. I know there are crash fish down there. I just need to go and get them. They're in here somewhere. I know they are. Aha. Hello. Come at me, bro. Uh, turn that corner, buddy. Oh, he kind of did. Okay. Well, I thought he didn't turn that well. Ah, I talked over the dialogue. I'm sorry. I forgot she was talking. I need to. You know what I need to do? Turn up my game volume. There we go. Now I can hear better when she's talking. It'll be easier for me to remember to shut up. <laughs> oh. Mm. Ah! Ah! Ha, ha. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'm not faster than you. Oh. Jeez. Oh, another one. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Oh. Ah. Oh. Well, we died. Holy crap. So, he didn't kill us immediately, but they have a little bit of gas that they release when they die, and that's what killed us there. I don't even know exactly where I was. I don't think I was over here. I was, like, on my way out through another way. I don't know where that was. Did I try to go this way? No, that wasn't it. Well, that's what it looks like when you die. And also you drop some things. So, we ended up... Oh, God. We ended up dropping... That's where I went. Uh, we ended up dropping pretty much all of the non-essentials that we had, like uh, anything we had that wasn't like a tool. We dropped it. Uh, and it should be floating in the water over here, I think. Yeah, here we go. So, copper. Ah, come on. And cave sulfur. And titanium. I thought we had more titanium than that. Where is it? I don't see it. I don't know. Hmm, oh well. I want to grab some table coral as well, because we're going to need that eh, relatively soon. So, let's see. Do I still have my oxygen tank? Uh oh Yes, I do. Good. So, yeah, tools and your oxygen tank and stuff, you keep that when you die. So that's that's nice, at least. Uh, ooh, you know what we need is some fish. Let's grab some peepers. Let's grab a boomerang, too, I guess, if we can catch up to it. Come here, boomerang. There we go. The performance does actually seem to have been improved a little bit after this last patch, too, which I don't think was a direct... Uh, that wasn't, like, the main point of this update, I don't think. I think the main point of this update was to fix the resource issue. But um, the performance does seem to be at least a little bit better than it was. And I'll always take better performance. Like, I will never complain about getting better performance. I hope no one would, but... Let's see, there's all that stuff and all this stuff, and I just love to get rid of all these stupid yellow markers because they drive me nuts. Like, I know what I have here, game. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> Alright, this... Mm-hmm, I see. Well, now we have a little bit of water, we have cooked peeper, cooked boomerang, there we go. I'm going to need more titanium, I'm going to need some silicone and rubber, I'm going to need a lot of things here. Oh my gosh, look at all the fish! We never saw that many fish in Season 1 of Let's Play Subnautica. Oh my gosh, look at all the fish, there's so many! This is amazing! Alright, well, I'm heading to where I know that there is creep vine. There might be some a little closer, but... Quite frankly, our life pod is not in an ideal spot for gathering creep vine. So we're just going to have to make do with what we can find. And I just so happen to know that there is some over here, as we can see. I'm going to hang out over this brain coral here, which uh, occasionally vents some oxygen bubbles that we can utilize, like so. Ten oxygen per bubble, so if you sit over here long enough... It does move quickly enough. It, it, it can resupply you faster than you can use air. So that's good. Um, ooh, oh, uh oh. God. Stalkers. Ah, man, why are all the seed clusters so far in? We got really unlucky with that. Dang. Gimme, gimme, gimme. There we go. We got four. Can I grab more? No, I can't. Okay. Life on this planet grows in unusually distinct and diverse ecological biomes. Further study recommended. It is interesting that the PDA actually points out how distinct 
these biomes are because it's not like there's a little bit of a transition period here. No, it's just like safe shallows, kelp forest. Safe, uh, safe shallows, kelp forest. There's not much of an ecotone between these things. It's just like, bam, like sna someone just snapped their fingers and said, boom, new biome. It's like, whoa, okay. We're here now, I guess. <laughs> All right, I want to make I want to make a lot of things. That's what I want to make. Uh, do I need a battery for the repair tool? Probably. I don't. Okay. I need a battery for the scanner though, and I know I have some copper, so we'll grab two acid mushrooms. That will allow us to make a battery. Then we can make a scanner and a repair tool and some um, flippers at the same time. Fins. That's what they are. Uh, yes. Okay, but first we need to turn our... Also, we can cook up the hoop fish if we want. Which, I don't know. I guess we'll go ahead and cook up the hoop fish, because I don't know how much it's good for. We're not hungry yet, but I'm just curious how it compares to, like, peeper or something. Not bad. It's actually, like, pretty intermediate, you know, in terms of how much it uh, fills you, but that's not a bad thing. So, make some more titanium, because we're always going to need more of that. Yeah, oh, I have another one. Thought I only had two metal salvage. Then we're gonna make some silicone rubber. I'm gonna make six silicone rubber because we're gonna need a lot of it. And then I'm gonna make one lube because we're gonna need that fairly soon. Lubricant is essential in construction of vehicles and power plants. Battery, all right, we have a ton of things to make now. We can make fins. Then we can. The fabricator draws from available data to provide environment appropriate equipment using locally available materials. For your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. Speaking of safety, when we make the knife. Weapons were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Braxis Prime. The knife remains the only exception. So each tool, when you first make it, has a little animation when you first equip it. So I'll try to show you those. It's easy to accidentally skip over them if I don't, like, make a note directly of them. So now with our repair tool, we can fix this. Lightport secondary systems online. Running full environment diagnostic and outputting results to data bank. Get the smoke out of here. What is that? Uh, what is that? Increased local radiation levels. Trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core sustained during Planet Four. What is that word when um, you can like when you see something in in, a, in the media and you can like in video games or in a movie and you can almost feel it? Like I can almost seeing all the smoke in here reminds me of like I can almost smell wood smoke like from my uh, from the wood stove in my parents' house. Like it's, I, is it cathartic? Is that what it is? I don't know, but. That doesn't sound like they're actually coming to get us, because it sounds like it just kind of got stuck on the word on the letter nine. <laughs> ah, hopefully we're wrong about that though, and it, it is actually like, I mean, nine 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 hours is better than no rescue. So, but you know, um, let's see. That makes five quarts. Uh, I'm gonna need some more of that as always. Oh, there we go. I thought I saw another quartz down here. That's six. Now, what else do I need for the, uh, oh, I need silver. Ah, that was the other tricky one. Yes, now I remember. Oh, and then the uh, the scanner as well. I forgot we can get that out. Oh, I didn't make it. Whoops. Well, we'll make it here <laughs> in a little bit when I remember to. Hold on, get up the top here. So the silver is going to be one of the tricky ones, but I do know where we can get some silver, hopefully, if we're lucky. We should get at least one silver out of this deal, but... So if we come in here... Oh gosh, another crash fish. Get away, get away, get away! I can get away! Nope! Ooh, dodged. Okay, good. Silver! 
are an essential component of many habitat modules. Mm, I really need to get this freaking rock out of here. Can I push it that way? You can push the rocks a little bit. But, okay, I can't seem to get this one out of my way. Alright. Oh, I don't want to go that way. Got a crash fish there. Oh, there's one here, too. Alright. Nope. Leave me alone, buddy. Ah, well, I kind of got away from it. Alright, well, we have a piece of silver. We have enough quartz to make two glass. And pretty much everything else we're going to need. So I think we can actually make our high-capacity oxygen tank already. Which is very nice to have early in the game. Should I do another hour-long special like we did last time? Mmm. Mmm, what time is it? 10 or 4? Ah, I would, but I've really got to study for a final that I have tomorrow. Oh, it's already 10 o'clock at night, and I, I gotta, I gotta, yeah, I gotta study. Ah, finals. Man, I can't wait until finals are done. Oh, I can't wait until college is done for the semester. So close. So, so close. I would absolutely do a one-hour special for the first episode like we did last time in Season 1, but I, I just can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Alright, so we'll, there we go. Let's make two glass, is it? Yeah, two glass. And then while we're in the fabricator, let's go ahead and make our scanner. I'm not going to make a flashlight because we will find one eventually for free. The scanner can be used to synthesize blueprints from salvage technology and to accord alien biological data. Maybe don't stick that in your eye, man. <laughs> um, alright, let's see. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll find a flashlight for free later on, so I'm not gonna bother making that right this second. I should be able to... yeah, there we go. And high capacity oxygen tank. Cool! Alright, now we're ready to move out. Okay. Oh, it's good, it's about to be daytime too. Awesome! Sunrise! <laughs> Looking for some blueprints and stuff. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Also, you can scan just about everything in this game. Come back, Peeper. I want to finish scanning you. I don't plan on scanning everything in the game, but for the things that I do scan, I will at least scroll through, like so. So you guys can pause and read if you like. And there's that one as well. But uh, I definitely do not plan on personally reading all of these things. Because, for the most part, I know what everything is in this game. I've played this a lot. I haven't used absolutely everything, or at least I haven't used it all so much. But for the most part, yeah, I, I know what I need in this game. Um, I've played it a lot. As I pointed out in episode 1 of season 1, I have a lot of save files, and there's other ones that I've deleted because I got to a certain point and I was like, yeah, I feel happy with that save. But, yes, I, <laughs> I've played this probably, arguably, a little too much. But I love the game. That's why I was so willing to be, you know, patient with the developers for this patch, because I love it. I love the game. It's a good game. It's a really, really fun game. This already... In terms of what I'm seeing around here, the limestone deposits, the metal salvage down there, this already looks like it's a ten times, a tenfold improvement over the, the resources that we had before, which is, well, I mean, we expected that because that was the point of the patch, but still, it's nice to see. Now, if we come over this way, around here somewhere, should be a thing that the game would tell us about one way or another shortly, but here's our first instance of being able to scan something. So with most things, you have to scan more than one of them um, to actually get the blueprint. So there's the beacon. We had to scan two for that. Uh, oh, yes, grav trap fragments. Cool. Grav traps are basically fishing instruments. If you want to be able to gather a whole bunch of fish really easily without chasing them around, grav trap is your best friend. Uh, I know what the grav trap does, and I know what it looks like when you use it, but I don't think I've used one myself, personally, because I just never... Really felt like I needed to. Felt like a waste of, you know, resources. Resources uh, are obviously a very important thing in this game, and should be spent wisely. Now I'm looking for there it is. So this is something that, if we waited a little bit, the radio would give us a, uh, it would give us a transmission from this life pod. But since we're here, and since I knew where it was already, 
Let's we'll go ahead and do this. We we'll get the sea glide started. There's one. Is there another piece right here? Oh, maybe. I, I don't know. We'll take a look in a second. So here's this little PDA from LifePod 3. Integrating new PDA data. You really think it'll carry two of us? Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power seller rigged to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? Oh, sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the life pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the mats, I'll be terrified. Hmm. Well, guessing by looking at the pod, they didn't make it. Just, just a guess. Ooh, white box. White box. So these little white boxes tend to have blueprints in them that you can scan for stuff. And I'm looking for two things right now. I'm looking for another sea glide fragment, and I'm looking for something called a mobile vehicle bay. Oh, and a laser cutter. Well, hey, I didn't expect to find a laser cutter right here, but I will take it. That is something we're going to need as soon as possible. So there's a laser cutter, and you can see with the laser cutter, I need to scan three of them, not just two. So laser cutter is slightly more demanding. I want to break this open and see if it gives me silver. Please. Ah, eh, lead. Well, we'll need that too, so... We're not going to need that much lead in the long run, um, but we will need lead. So, if it's there, I'll grab it. White boxes, man, I need some white boxes. Oh my gosh, yes, this is... See, this is how the creep, uh, the creep vine, or the kelp forest biome is supposed to work. Like, there's supposed to just be sandstone, not everywhere, but occasionally, like, just on the sides of the the walls and stuff, and that just wasn't happening in, in season one, as we're going to call it. I don't see any of my little white boxes that I need. There's one. And that has a mobile vehicle bay fragment, which I think needs three to complete. Yeah, yes, it needs three. Hmm. Hmm. Looking around. I also need... I really want the sea glide. The sea glide is a base, is a, like a little, um, it's not a base, it's a little personal transportation uh, thing that you can hold on to and it propels you forward, which is very nice. Oh, oxygen. Looking for white boxes as I ascend here, but I don't see any. No, alright, fine. I give up on that for this, you know, dive. Uh, all right, back on Decipher. Let's see what we got down here. Hmm. So these are stalkers. They are aggressive. If you get too close, as you can see, they don't like you. Um, but they will be very, very important in the somewhat near future. Where the heck? I'm not seeing white boxes like anywhere. There we go. There's one. Is that? That looks like a sea glide fragment. Booyah. Need that. Gimme, gimme. Thank you. And I would love, since I'm here, to keep looking for more of these little white boxes that may contain mobile vehicle bay fragments. Because we're going to need those as soon as possible. Ooh, please. Sea glide fragment. So, if you scan something that you've already completed, you'll just get two titanium from it. Which is not a bad thing, and that is, you know, if you need titanium, that's a great way to get titanium. But, I don't really need titanium that badly right now. Alright, well, I guess we'll head back to the life pod. Um, let's make sure I have everything I'm going to need for the sea glide here. Where is it? There we go. Lubricant copper wire I can make, and a battery I can also make, so I have three copper. Two copper for a single wire, and one copper plus two mushrooms, which I will grab, for a battery. There we go. Now, make a sea glide and get around much faster. So, for the mobile vehicle bay fragments, we'll probably head that way towards another kelp forest that I know of. Oh look, here's a message. LifePod 3, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. 
Seriously. Three out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. And there it is. So that basically, well, the as you can... will increase your effective exploration range. For your safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. So there's a marker that actually tells us exactly where life pod 3 is. Um, and if, like I said, that was going to come in on the radio either way. So a little investigation of our little sea glide here. Now, it has this little, like, sonar view on the top. It shows you the terrain. That's pretty useful, I guess, but it does take up a lot of the screen. So if you tap right trigger a couple times, you can toggle a light on the front, and you can toggle that map to go off. So, there we go. And now I have the light, but not the map. And that's what I want, because I don't really care much for the map. I don't, you know, I can see the terrain further away than the map can. So, yeah. I'll just, I'll just go... I had get that out of the middle of my screen. Ooh, hello. Please. Ah, sea glide. Dang it. Crap. So, generally speaking, the mobile vehicle bay fragments will be in the creep vine or kelp forests um, in those white boxes and not really anywhere else. Like, I think they can be, but I've always had the most luck finding them in the kelp forest. Silver. Ah, oh, God, we're going to need so much silver. So I will always, 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 always take silver. Uh oh. Oh, yes. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Ah! Ah! I was able to hug the crate so close that he couldn't bite me. Come on. Oh, yep. Perfect. Nice. There's one coming after me. Also, you don't have to scan everything in one shot. It uh, saves your progress for the scan, even if you have to, like, move your cursor off of it for a second. So that is great. Okay, mobile vehicle bay, good to go. That is one huge milestone accomplished. And another message on the radio here. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. All right, what you got? This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't want us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by this Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing's trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Yeah. Lighterfish. Come back. That is honest. I don't know why, but I, that's one of my favorite uh, little audio logs in the game. It really is. Degradation of the Aurora's drive core may result in a quantum detonation. Continuing to monitor. Really good voice acting. I don't know. I like I like the way that sounds. That 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 audio log. But um, so I'm gathering titanium because for a thing I won't spoil what it is for a thing that we're gonna get next episode. Hopefully, uh, we're gonna need titanium ingots. And in fact, if we take a look here, mobile vehicle bay, we need a titanium ingot for that. So let's go ahead and do this. We're going to need a power cell, so that's going to be... Oh, boy, there. That's going to be there. Uh, huh, hmm, hmm. That's going to be more copper. That's going to be two more copper, because we need to make two batteries. Let's turn all of these fish into water real quick here. Bladderfish are not very good cooked. In fact, I'll cook one right now, since I'm a little hungry, and just so you can see that they're not... Their ideal use is not to be cooked. Um, but, so the peeper gives you like 30-something food, cooked bladderfish a whopping 16. So, not ideal, but can be used that way in a pinch. So we have a titanium ingot, we're gonna need, what else, we're gonna need two copper, oh, we're gonna need silicone rubber, but we have that, so we're good. Um, two copper, two copper's the main thing. Four mushrooms will be easy. Titanium, I'm not even gonna take it, because I don't want to fill up my inventory. Copper, good. Uh, titanium and copper cool so there's that then we want one two three four and then we're gonna need seed clusters I could cut the creep vine with my knife and get some creep vine samples 
but, oh, darn it, well, I wanted to be able to carry more than that, but I guess not. Alright, fine. Fine, how full am I? Not full enough that I can't grab the titanium that I let drop over here, since I have the space for it now, and I know that I have the space for it. There we go. Alternatively, I could have dropped one titanium and grabbed another C cluster, but, yeah, whatever. This is enough for what we need. So we're going to build this mobile vehicle bay, and next time, hopefully, we will build a special thingy. I might have accidentally said what it is already, but it's, it's alright. It's fine. It's all good. So, battery. And battery. And do we really need a power cell for this thing? Really? Alright. Well, whatever. They say so. Surprises me a little bit. But, eh. Uh, whoops, whoops. Uh, uh, there we go. And power cell. So we have lube, we have a power cell, and we have a titanium ingot, which means we now have... I didn't make it. <laughs> Whoops. Kinda gotta build the thing. There we go. Now are we gonna be able to pick it up? It's quite large in the inventory. I think it's 4x4. Four four, maybe, or 3x3. Three three. It's big. Yeah, yes, we have it. Oh, it's 3x3, three three, but still, pretty big. Bigger than most of the stuff you're going to be carrying. Alright, so, to release the vehicle bay, you put it on a quick slot, and you just press right trigger to release it. And when you climb up on top of it, there you go, you get these little drones that uh, are basically flying fabricators. And we'll see what they do, hopefully, in the next episode. But that will do it for this episode of Season 2 of Subnautica. This is uh, basically just doing this, again, for the patch that has fixed the resource bug, so we can play the game appropriately. But anyways, that will do it for this first episode of Season 2. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed, and as always, I hope to see you all in the next one.